हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ संगीता परमार फ्रॉम अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट हेयर इट्स गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन दी सब्जेक्ट बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन दी फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज इंटरव्यू एंड इन दिस टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू कंसिडर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द इंटरव्यू हाउ द इंटरव्यू आर प्रिपेयर हिमसेल्फ फॉर द इंटर फॉर टेकिंग द इंटरव्यू वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ द इंटरव्यू what is the interview process and how the uh, interview has to prepare himself while going for the interview so starting with the uh, first slide we will uh, learn about the the concept of the interview now the meaning of the interview is a meeting between persons of a, dis a discussion it can be said as a question and answer session between an employer and an applicant for a job now basically in interview is nothing but what it's a meeting or a discussion between two persons where mainly involved the interviewer and the interviewee the person who is taking the interview is known as the interviewer and the person who is giving the interview is known as the interviewee now coming on to the next slide that is what how the interviewer prepares okay so here as i told you interviewer means who the person who is taking the interview so while taking the interview first of all what all things he has to consider that is first you can see on the slide it is given the purpose now basically when we are talking about the purpose purpose is what while conducting the interview the interviewer's purpose in his mind should be clear that the interview is conducted whether for obtaining an information or for conducting uh, the interview for a for selecting a candidate for a particular post so the purpose should be very clear in his mind second is deciding on the date and time as you know the the letter calling the interviewees should be sent several days in advance and also the interviewees has to be informed that what all documents that has to be carried along uh, with them in the uh, in their interview letter now coming on to the next part that is the third uh, part it is given the sitting arrangement where the sitting arrangement uh, it says that the interviewer should make a proper arrangement for the interviewees outside the room where uh, where the interview is uh, are sitting for the interview so that has to be taken in mind then next is decision on the committee members now decision on the committee uh, members means what if the interview is conducted by a committee so every committee member uh, should be given a copy of the applicant's letter their bio data so that no confusion or any uh, confusion can be created so so the particular interview can be conducted in a smooth manner so all these things are what that how the interviewer prepare himself while, while before conducting the meeting so all these things are very important again i am repeating here that is a purpose deciding on date and time then sitting arrangement then decision on the committee members now coming to the next part that is your interview process now interview process means while conducting the interview there is it's nothing but there are some stages which has to be go through the stages are what first is welcome acquiring second is acquiring information third is supplying uh, information and fourth is parting now welcome first part is the candidate who has come for the interview has to be welcome in a polite manner so that he feels com comfortable to give his interview so that has as you know the first impression is the last impressions then next uh, uh, second part they have given you or the second point they have given you is what acquiring information now acquiring information means what here the interviewer after making a candidate comfortable um, uh, comfortable for the interview after that he is going to acquire some information from the 
interview that is from the candidate that about his uh, acquiring information about his qualifications his likes dislikes hobbies what all hobbies are there then the family background the occupations previous experience all these things are to be covered on in this point next point is what supplying information as i told you that interview is a two way process so it involves interviewer and interviewee now it's turn of the interviewer to supply some information to the interviewee that means what the information about the organization the nature of the work how the candidate uh, candidate can be uh, made himself best put to the particular organization so all these things uh, can be and also the candidate may be encouraged to ask the questions so that his all doubts can be clear at this point that is the supplying information last part is what that is parting parting means what the closing part of the interview while the in uh, the interview that is given by that interviewee after that for coming for the interview always the interviewee has to be thanked for that uh, that he has come for the interview after that it is from the interview side that the a particular interviewee will be informed uh, later on whatever will be the result so in this way the parting session can be complete that is the last part of the interview process so here what we have studied the interview process again i am repeating all the points which are there first is welcome acquiring information supplying information and last part is parting now coming to the next point that is your types of interviews now types of interviews there are uh, six types of interviews that is first is selection interview then second is appraisal interview then third is under stress interview fourth grievance interview then fifth exit interview and the sixth one is group interview now first we'll again come back to the slide and we'll start with the first interview so that is the selection interview now from the name itself it suggests that selection interview is what the interview which is basically conducted for sel uh, selecting a particular candidate for a particular post on the basis of his qualification so that is a uh, the here it involves the, again the interviewer and the one is a interviewing so that is a selection interview as the meaning uh, it is given the selection interview refers to the process of selecting the best candidate so you can see here they have given you in the image also the uh, with the help of the magnifying glass they are showing you means what the best candidate is you know fitted to that uh, particular vacant post then it includes into uh, interviewing individual and assessing their talents and attributes that are required for a given job so all these things are covered in the selection interview so next is what appraisal interview now appraisal interview is nothing but the interview where the performance of the existing employees is actually assessed an appraisal interview is a formal discussion process between an employee and his or her manager it is one of the best way for an employee to increase productivity and change work habits in a present interview the employer and the employee discuss the performance of the individual and the key areas of improvement and how the employee can grow through a feedback mechanism so here basically the evaluation the existing employee's performance appraisal interview that is means the performance of the interview of uh, interview uh, the candidate is assessed here the existing employees is assessed here in the appraisal interview that is here the working performance of the existing employees his future uh, targets uh, will be what all this are discussed also with the help of this interview the existing employees get motivated they know the further uh, how the further goals can be achieved of the organization so all this is covered in this type of interview that is your appraisal interview or you can also call it as a performance interview then next is what under stress interview 
okay so next is under stress interview grievance interview then exit and in exit interview and the group interview which we are going to discuss in the another lecture for today we'll wind up here thank you so much